Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. I'm off today. I'm parting out about seven appliances today to sell on eBay. And I thought maybe we could visit while I do that. And I have one machine that I'm pretty concerned about possibly being Vroed. So we're going to talk about that. Maybe you guys can give me your opinions on whether or not I should list it. So let's launch this reseller robo. <laughs> Hey everybody, what you up to? Hi Rita, it's good to see you here. Is it slow at the office today? Or are you super busy? Are you getting some eBay work done at the job? Let me know. I'm opening this uh, coffee maker. It's a Mueller DC 550. I pay $27 for it, or yeah, $26 for it. Don't normally pay that much for a machine, but the reason I paid that much is because um, it's new and because I bought some other machines that day that I got a really good deal on. So my cost of goods ended up not being so bad. So that's why I paid for it. But, and I get an instruction manual so I can sell that. So that's good. I sold an instruction manual to a rotisserie oven the other day. So people do buy the instruction manuals. All right, let's see who's here. Aside, Rita's here and better at work today. Hi, Maggie, how are you? Are you babysitting? And Craig's asleep already. My show puts you to sleep and it hasn't even started. I was just watching Victoria live from Houston. I didn't know she was in Houston. Huh. Glad you subscribed. <laughs> Uh, did anybody ever find out why Johnny had his ch uh, channel taken down? Is it like, do they consider it gambling or something? I was just wondering. Other people have games on their shows and, you know. Yeah, all week is slow. Yeah, I'm listening. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to take a look at these machines. I'm going to part them out. I may or may not do comps. It just depends on how I'm feeling at the time. Let's part this one out first, and then I will show you the one that I'm a little nervous about listing. I think I'm going to list it, but I think I'm going to um, not put the brand in the title and under the brand. And then well, we're going to read the Vero uh, information about this brand. And then maybe you guys can help me to decide if I should just not take a chance. I think I only paid $7.99 for the machine. Um, I even thought maybe I could list it on Mercari. And just try to remember that I have a listing on Mercari. I don't know. So this carafe is new. And normally I list my carafes at $32.99. But because this is new, um, the cheapest machine I saw was $40. So I'm going to list this at about $37.99. And then with my coupon and my sale, that should bring it down quite a bit. So, yeah. <laughs> And then I need to write on here that it's new because I will forget that when I'm drafting. And then, um, so something like this, I typically want to get $20 for each one. But again, since it's new, I want to make, I want to get 25. So I need to look at my little cheat sheet and see what price starting price will get me to about $25. And I apologize for not having had this up already. In fact, I don't remember the last time I had this list up. It's been that long since I've parted out a machine. So I know if I listed at $27.99, I'll get about 20 if they use the coupon. But I want to get around 25, so I'll probably list it at 30. These at 34.99. That'll give me 25.19 if they use the coupon and the sale. So that's what I'm gonna do. Mesh filter. Already forgot. Like I'm, I'm already just ugh. Um, 34.99.
the nice thing about this one is I don't have to wash it because it's already clean. So I need to put this somewhere else where I don't have to put them in the dishwasher. I'll just put them over there on my backdrop that Craig helped me buy. Okay. Oh, and I have a... Um, my manuals are $12.99 to start with, which will give me... I don't know if I even have that on here. Yeah, I, I'll make about eight bucks on it. All right. And they have feet too. Gotta take the feet out. Don't know. These being new, I don't know if they'll come out very easily. Yep, they did. already lost one. Crap. I had two of them. All right. I'm going to say DC 550. All right. So they just go in a Xerox bag. I mean a Xerox bag, a Ziploc bag with the name of the machine and they will be ready to photograph. I sell those for $9.99 for two or $11.99 for four. And we are done with that machine. I think I'm going to have to get my glasses on. Move you back over here for a second so I can read what everybody's talking about. Oh, Rita has a customer. Let's see. The connected He connected his new channel to his old one, I think. Said he would have to resolve issue with his original one, and then they would give him back both. They connected his new channel to his old one. Huh. Hey, Crystal. What's up? What are you doing today? How's the weather there? It just feels like it's going to rain, but it never does today. I don't know. So the painters came today. They uh, textured the new sheetrock and painted all over the house. Um, we're not happy with one of the rooms. It didn't paint. It didn't dry well. So eventually going to have to have somebody else to come back and paint that wall. But we made it through the repiping process. It was very easy. The guys were super organized. Um, I can't say it was quiet. It was loud. But the dogs did great. And I, I'm not going to be able to have a shipping live stream Sunday night if I go to Austin. I'm planning to go to Austin and source as many machines as I can. But since I'm off on Wednesdays and Thursdays now, I'm probably going to have a hall live stream working hangout tomorrow. Not sure what time yet, but... So if you need a place to hang out and just come and visit with your friends tomorrow, haul video. It's a very small one because my thrifting is getting worse. Like, I don't know if I'm getting pickier or they just don't have the stuff. I'm trying to figure out what to do about that. So I think I only got 57 items and two of them are for me. So, all right. You ready to take a look at this machine, Craig and... Crystal and all of you, Maggie, Rita, ah. I paid, I think $7.99 for this because it was on sale. This is an old Kirby, um, Sentinel, I don't know what that says, I can't read it upside down, carpet shampoo system, can't read it, uh, I don't know. Um, but anyway, so I was talking to Valerie today and she said, Beth, she said, I think Kirby's V Road. And I was like, what? And she said, yeah, I'm pretty sure Kirby is V Road. And I was just like, um, okay, what, what am I going to do? 
So I looked it up and I'm going to read what they say about Kirby and let, and then you guys maybe can help me make a decision whether or not I'm even going to list this thing. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I pulled it up somewhere. It's a PDF. Hold on. I'm not going to read it all. I'm just going to read the parts that I think might help me make a decision. And I don't know if any of you have ever sold Kirby before, but I'm going to make this big, though. Um, okay, it says, we prevent the sale of aftermarket spare parts and accessories, which are copies or close copies of one of Kirby's registered designs or make an unlawful use of a Kirby trademark in a listing with a non-genuine generic product. Okay, I believe this is really Kirby. Um, I, I believe it is. I and mean, I believe it's vintage. It says it's made in the United States. So it's not, a, I don't believe it's a copy. And I'm not going to be um, using the trademark for any generic brand. So I don't know. Uh, all right. What can I do to ensure listings don't infringe Kirby's rights? It says comply with all the following rules. One, do not sell counterfeit products. I don't believe this is, but I will do some future re some more research. Do not sell products which are infringing copies of Kirby's products or which otherwise infringe Kirby's intellectual property rights. So I have this. Um, I don't know if there's a instruction in on here, but but on this machine, oh, you can't see it because I'm sharing my screen. On this machine, I don't know if you can see that right there. It says Kirby. You see that? And then on this one, it's got the model number. So I don't know if this is legit or not, but and it's got Kirby on the bottom. It doesn't even look like this brush has ever been used. I don't know. So I don't think I don't think this is a fake, but I don't know how you know. And then uh, number three, do not use Kirby logo or put that back up there. Or Kirby's promotional imagery or text in your listing. You should use photographs that you have taken yourself. I will not use stock photos. And descriptive text which you have written, not copied from anywhere else. Do not use Kirby's trademarks in a misleading manner. Only use the word Kirby or our trademark product names for genuine Kirby products or to describe compatibility with Kirby products. Um... And then it stops. I don't know why that says A. There was another thing up here that said something about where don't um, put it as the brand. You could put it, if you're not sure, put it as compatible brand and put for Kirby. So I may do that. I may not put a brand. I may just put compatible with Kirby. And I, but I will, I think I will put, um, this name still can't tell what that says centria centria 2 and the model number in the title and just not put kirby in the title i don't know guys i don't know what to do you know tech would tell me don't list it if you have any um thoughts that it's going to get taken down just don't list it so i don't know what do you guys think i should do i think that is target is to target fakes and you can list it if it's Kirby and not aftermarket. I would list it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think the worst that can happen is it could get taken down. I don't think they're going to suspend me for that. Um, there are Kirby's on eBay, um, but that doesn't mean anything. They may just not have caught them that Kirby is a very old brand. I'm not sure that Kirby even gives a crap anymore. Uh, especially about things that are not for sale retail, but I could be wrong. 
So we're just going to look this up and see if they have any. I, I looked it up in the store and something told me to buy it. And it was probably because I'm going to put Centria vacuum cleaner. Um, well, they have Centria upright. It's not a vacuum cleaner, though. It's a what did I say? Shampoo. Carpet shampoo. I wonder if I should put that carpet shampoo. How many are listed? 611. All right, let me start with brush and see. Oh, I have a number. Let me look at the number. 293012. I get nervous when I'm on the um on live and then I don't think 3012. Let's see if any of that comes up. There it is. This is the one right here. So someone's got it listed right now for $79, the whole thing. Um, but I'm thinking what happened was not very many people had the pieces. So I think I'm going to go ahead and list it. Accessory tool. Someone has this this part right here listed for thirty dollars plus twelve eighty four shipping. So this thing is heavy, man. Damn. So what I'm gonna have to do is find a manual and figure out the names of all these pieces because I don't know the names. Um, or I may just put part and they have to figure it out. I don't know. Water tank, no hose. This one doesn't have a model number, though. It's this right here, but theirs is red. Mine's blue. I don't know. I mean, for eight bucks, it's got quite a few pieces in it. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's got six pieces to it for eight bucks. I just I didn't want to pass it up. Oh, and then this one, not uh, seven. So I'm just going to put this aside because this is going to take a little while and I don't want you guys to get bored um, doing that. But what's everybody doing today? Is everybody working today? Um, I'm going to go ahead and send out some juju. Hopefully you guys will get a sale during the show. wants to come on and keep me company let me know and I'll send you a link Holy cow. Whoa. that wasn't good y'all hear that I hope I didn't crack whatever just fell this is a dessert bullet anybody seen one of these before a dessert bullet um, I thought it looked interesting it doesn't have a lot of pieces though so I don't know. I may sell the motor because the motor is not very, it's not going to take up much room, but we'll see. Somebody's messaging me. Oh, Bridget. Hi, Bridget. 
All right. Let me know if you make a sale during the show, and I'll play a song for you. There she is. Too late. Already bored. Thank you. You're not a real good um, commercial for my store. I mean, for my channel, Craig. Maggie seems like I just saw you. Where were y'all? Were y'all hanging out? I'm jealous. I didn't think Maggie was working today, so I didn't message her. I don't know what this little thingy is. Have you ever used a dessert bullet? I know. I don't know why it's a dessert bullet. Like... I'm paying, I'm paying way too much for appliances, guys. Way too much. Not making me happy at all. That came out. Oh, man, that came out. One, two, three. This whole thing should come out right here. It's not. Dang it. There we go. That came out. Okay, unlock. There we go. All right, so that's uh, five pieces right there. So, I don't know. Ooh, it has a number on it. All right, we're going to try to find a user manual for that. Craig, I thought you would be at work today. Man, I can't read that. B E dash W L O O one dash twenty three. User manual. Um, I need to be like Pudgy Picker. She's got a magnifying glass, and uh, that's to look for stuff like that, I need to get a magnifying glass. So I don't have to keep taking pictures of things and, you know. Mm. At least I, maybe I can find out what the name of this thing is, all these pieces. Just trying to download a PDF. I really don't want that. I don't know what's going on here. Ah, oh, here we go. Sorry, guys. I had it up and then it went away. I'm glad you're having good weather, Crystal. Um... Bridget, did you see my question about the Kirby shampooer? I don't know if I should list it. I'm afraid it's going to be V-Road. Well, hey, Santa. What's up? You're off on Wednesday, Craig? Well, you just sold it? Wow. Awesome. Hold on. I'm trying to 
get this thing to come up. Well, congratulations, Bridget. Awesome. Okay, um, Bridget, um, it's this Kirby shampooer, carpet shampooer. It's got like six or seven pieces. I don't know. It, uh, uh, Kirby came up on the Vera list, and I just read the information from the, the page about it. And I think I'm okay to list it based on that. I think they're just wanting to make sure that you don't sell something that's a fake. And this is obviously vintage. And I just kind of wonder, I just don't think somebody's going to, just because I think they're not going to fake it doesn't mean, but, you know, I think I should go ahead and list it. It's awfully heavy though. Man, that thing is heavy. What are you doing today, Santa? You want to come in and keep me company? You just sold a whole machine in January? Oh, okay. Okay. Well, this is this is the one I got. So we're going to see if we can get the, at least get the names of the parts that I have. And place funnel on top of fruit shoot. Okay, well, this is the... This is the funnel. How can I make myself on there at the same time? No. No. Come on. All right. So this, everything's delayed over here. I wonder if my internet's bad. So this is the funnel and this is the fruit shoot. Is this the fruit shoot? I don't know. I already took the daggum thing apart. This is a pusher. This is not a shoot. Probably this is the shoot. Because, yeah. All right, so. I don't even know what you do with this, like. I'm going to write the name again. B E dash W L O O one dash twenty three. So fruit shoot and funnel. These are all gray. Because you know, I'm going to list these from bed. And when I list them from bed, I don't. Um, I don't have the colors. I don't remember the colors. I need something to put all this stuff in. It's not having to be washed. I mean, this is new. It's brand new. Never been used. I can guarantee it. That's the third machine so far we've looked at that's new. Um, okay, insert the fruit fruit plunger. Well, that's this thing. And that's gray. Now I just got to find out what these things are. Um, this Okay, the dispenser cap shapes your ice cream. The star shape creates ridges, and the oval shape creates a smoother look. So these are called dispenser caps. I'm going to sell them separately. Dispenser cap star. And dispenser start. Dispenser cap oval. That's two more. Now I just got to figure out what this weird looking thing is and don't anybody make any any comments about this part, okay? 
Uh, plug the cord in. This is the groove of the plunger. It doesn't tell me what this thing is called. Hmm. It's a G-rated show, or at least PG. I didn't see anybody having this one for sale. And then all they have right there is recipes. Uh, I mean, I know what this does. It turns and it turns the ice cream, but I don't. I don't know what you would call it. anybody want to know what it know what this is called other than anything uh you know pornographic okay all right i don't know what this thing is so right now i'm just going to put spindle i know it's probably not a spindle so we got uh six parts out of that machine that's good Gotta take a picture of all those. Awesome. And I don't know about the base. I may sell the base. Pull y'all over here for a second and see what everybody's talking about. Ah! I kicked myself out. <laughs> You've never hesitated to list them. Okay. It, even with the word Kirby in the title, I think I'm going to go ahead and chance it. Beth, I'm just dropping by to say hello. Getting ready to go do some work outside while the weather is nice. Enjoy it, Barry. Uh, Mar Maggie says, Lane Sharp Picker, I have a question for you. The YouTube guru. It is, is it called an auger? I don't know. I'll put that down. Thank you, uh, Barry. Let me look up the word auger and see what the definition is. A tool with a helical bit for boring holes in wood. Um, that's kind of like a drill bit. It would apply to a drill bit, possibly. You sent me a link for listing that part on Facebook Messenger. Mm. Let's see what Barry sent me. Looks like he's got, um, where's my stream yard? Looks like he's got a one that's, yeah, but that's not it, Barry. That's not the P. Well, I mean, I see that thing sticking out. Let me just look at it and see. Hope I don't kick myself out again. This is a lot of back and forth here. Okay, so that's the piece right there. You know what? That says bullet. Oh, that person said auger. Yep, auger. Thank you, Santa. Someone's got it listed as an auger, so what do you know? Is that not cool or what? Thank you so much. It is an auger. All right. It's for drills, but it can be used for dessert bullets, too. And like I said, this is questionable. I'll have to uh, plug this in and see if it works and see if it's worth listing. If not, there's feet on the bottom. I can go ahead and pull the feet off now. Go ahead and sell the feet. I bet nobody else has those. 
Not very many people sell these. Mm, dang it. I can get it out. One, two. Oh, there's five of them. If I decide to sell the base, I'll put the feet back in, but I have a feeling I probably won't. I'm just not into selling, I don't know. This is not my thing, selling the bases. They sit and sit, maybe sit for two or three years, and it just takes up a lot of space. I don't have space. So... I've never had five feet before. I guess I'll just stick with the eleven ninety-nine on those. So or I could sell three and two. I mean, how many people need five for their machine? Probably not very many. I'm gonna go over there and try to find a tub to put some of this stuff in. Oh got my office guys I, it's just it's horrible it, it was so clean last week you know you guys saw, you saw me saying how clean it was and now I mean it's clean it's just cluttered because we've had to move all this stuff in here my kitchen table I need to take parts photos and I can't because there's all these breakables so I gotta put everything back the way it goes um, all right, let's see what else we got here. This is the one that I dropped. Hopefully I didn't crack anything. Oh my gosh. I got these at Family Thrift, I believe. Yeah, Family Thrift. Um, this is a Cuisinart um, chop grind thing. Um, hopefully it will not get v road like my other one did, but that one was a different um, model, a different, a totally different model. And I looked it up before I bought this to make sure it wasn't. That was like the Chop Pro or something like that. So it had been recalled. I won't get very many pieces out of this at all, but. Um, take a picture of the model I don't usually look at the Cuisinarts to see if they're popular because Cuisinarts just a great a great brand C CH 4DC hot in here. Oh, this has feet too. Woohoo. This is how you break a finger now. Mm. So what's everybody doing today? These suckers don't want to come out. Look how, look how long they are. Ah, never seen them that long before. Two. Mm, I don't want to. I don't want to rip this rubber, but I gotta get them out of there. Okay, this I paid twelve fifty one for this machine, which I have one, two, three, four pieces. So mm. 
I guess that's not too bad. But the feet aren't going to sell anytime soon. Oh, man. I got to turn my fan on. Maybe we'll make it. Just got home from a doctor's appointment. Hope everything's okay, Crystal. All right. This is what I'll be doing tonight. Um, of tonight's survivor night for me so before i go to bed i will do this on the couch and we're we're almost done with blue bloods it's killing me um we're almost to the end um not sure if i will sell the bowl and the lid together or separate it's just going to depend on what other people have listed it for so I'm just going to put bowl and lid together. Um, and we'll see. Forgot, I'm forgetting to take pictures and that's not good. It's so weird being off on, I'm off three days a week now. It's so weird. And um, Monday I was off, but I kept, whoa, I kept going into the emails to see what was happening because if I waited till tomorrow, till Tuesday to go to work, I was going to have like a hundred emails to look through and print out and do stuff for. And so I went in there several times during the day and printed my workout that I needed to do on Tuesday. And my assistant said, Beth, she said, you have got to stop coming in on your day off and checking emails. You're supposed to be completely off. And I'm like, I know, but I'm making more work for myself. If I wait till I come into the office, when I come into the office, I want to have my stuff sitting there, printed out, ready to go. So I know what I have to do. And that stresses me out more than, you know, than uh, looking. So I was in my emails again today and she, she got onto me again. She says, I can see you're in there. And, uh, and I told her, I said, I'm not checking up on you. I just need to know what I have to do. Okay. Got another new machine. Now these you can buy at Target. This is an Our Goods A Cooker and it's in the box. And I looked it up. I got a dash egg cooker too. Because the dash egg cookers are selling so well for me right now, the pieces, I went ahead and took a chance on this one. And I'm glad that I did because when I looked it up, there weren't that many people that had the pieces. They only had the machine. So I don't get a lot of money for them. I get maybe, I don't know, 12 or 13 bucks per part. But this one's got, this one's a double decker. Isn't that cool? So I don't know if it has a model number, but um, it's awesome. It's Pebble Gray is the name of it. And I'm excited about it. And the best part is it's got the measuring cup that sells first. And I think my dash egg cooker, I got this too. I love selling the measuring cups. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know what you call this. I really don't. Six, seven. Why are there two of them? Oh, because it's double decker. Seven, and then the base. 
in the basis cell. Uh, you know, it's really strange. Oh, and the measuring cup even has its own lid. Never seen a lid on a measuring cup before. That is too cool. I think that's what that's for. I don't know. It doesn't really fit in there. I don't know what this thing is for. Oh, maybe it's a, oh, because you said it like that. Okay. That's because the piercing needle is on the bottom of this one. So you put it on the bottom so you don't get a cut. And then the instruction manual. These are awesome. I love it. Throw it over there with everything else. Why not? All right. It's called a 14 egg cooker. Woohoo! So I won't make, for those of you who are watching later who are not my regular subscribers, have never heard me talk about this umpteen thousand times, I will not make a variation listing for this. I will list, um, and I will not make two listings. I will make one listing, and in my SKU number, I will put, I have two. And then when one sells, I will go in the SKU and take the I have two off, and then I'll relist the listing. Um, that's how I do it because I don't want to put quantities because I end items every day and relist them and that will set my quantity back up to two. So that's how I get around that. I need my pen. So let me see if anybody's talking right now. Maggie, you want to come on? Anybody? Oh my God, Beth. I had a Dash Egg Cooker accessory pack. I was wondering why it hasn't sold. I looked yesterday and it's list. Yeah, it listed for $149.99. No wonder. That's like the time I um, listed a $2,000 pair of shorts. <laughs> $2,000 pair of shorts. This would be $20 or something. And I was, for some reason, I was doing stuff. To, this was like years ago. And I, for some reason, I sorted my items high to low. And that one came up in the top 2000 I even did a video about it. Um, I, I think I called it... Have, you know, something about, have you ever listed a $2,000 pair of shorts or something like that? Or do you want to buy a $2,000 pair of shorts? So that's, no wonder, yeah, it helps to deep dive into your store, just take a look around. Sometimes I just go to my storefront to just to see what it looks like, you know, and then I, um, I just kind of fool around with it go with the eBay, you know, just to see what it's doing and what it looks like from the perspective. And that was, how did you figure that out? Bridget, I got an email from a bar the other day wondering if the skirt I listed was really supposed to be priced at $24.99. Yeah. $2,499. Yeah. Yeah. I did that on Poshmark too. Last year, there was something that was priced super, super high. And she's like, I don't think you meant to list it at that. And that's the thing on Poshmark. You can only do like two digits, like 24, 25. And so on my eBay, I put $24.99. And then when I go to my Poshmark, I probably, I'm not thinking, and I go $24.99. And it doesn't take the, da uh, the dot, the decimal, and it puts, that's probably how you got it like that, uh, Maggie, I would think. But I don't remember if you use a... Um, I don't know if you uh, do that. How long How long has it been listed like that, um, Bridget, for $14.90? <laughs> you sorted high to low to run your sales. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So we're going to go ahead and I am going to have to test the base, but I'm 99% I'm sure that this base is going to work. Our goods... Uh, 14 egg cooker and the model number is 1742-B so we've got the base the instruction manual how much did I pay for this I already threw it over there I think I paid something like $9.99 or $8.99 for this it wasn't much. Um, measuring cup with piercing needle. I'll be sure and put that on there. Uh, times two boiling rack. 
these are all gray, by the way. Um, I don't know what you call this thing. Let's let's see if it says in here. I love instruction manuals because then I don't have to look them up online. I don't know this has a parts page. Hmm. Number five, extension shell. That's what this is called. That's clear, so I have to put clear. Extension shell clear. Okay, then we got the omelet tray, which is right here. I don't know if y'all have ever made an omelet in the dash. I wasn't real impressed with it. Um, and then you've got the poaching tray. Mm. And then we've got the lid, part eight, lid. So we got, I feel like I'm leaving something out. Okay. So I got eight parts, and I, I know I didn't spend over $9 for this. So we're good on this one. I'm going to take a picture of all this. And I'm going to have to keep it separate. Where's my phone? Uh, we're going to have to keep it separate from my dash egg cooker, just in case. I think my dash egg cooker is blue. I got a red dash egg cooker that is really awesome looking. All right. All this goes in there. This is awesome. Some of this doesn't have to be washed. I maybe I'll take photos some things today. I need drafts desperately. Oh my gosh. What's in here? Ooh. Nice. Bean grinder. $14.99. Bean grinder. Cuisinart. I may have one of those listed already. picture of the front and the bottom. Let's see. Paid $14.99 for this. See, I cannot wait to go to Austin. I know I'm going to get better prices. So if you weren't on my last show, the $10 bean grinder Breville that I bought at the estate sale that had two pieces both pieces of found now sold. I got for $54 um, after coupon and sale. So $54 each. And then my fees were taken out of the $54. But my goal was to sell them for $50 at least. And they sold for $54 each. So I was happy with that. Bean grinders are... And I had a Mueller bean grinder I bought at the flea market, and a lot of it sold. So bean grinders are really hot right now. I did find a French press um, carafe, but they wanted too much for it. Because I looked it up, and it was selling on eBay for pretty much what they had it in the store. So I passed. It was pretty cool. Dang it. This needs definitely needs to be washed. Mmm. Got to have a place for things that need to be washed. Let's see, that's working. Make, you got to make sure that this little doohickey here is working. Had that happen before. Ooh, yeah, this is dirty. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, see, that's only two pieces. Um, that's not a lot. Uh, there's some feet down here, though. I don't know if I can get them out, though. Not on air. I definitely can't. Mm, that's disgusting. I 
I was hoping I could get this blade out of here, but it looks like it comes with it. This looks like this should be able to come off, but I don't know. With my arthritis, it's not worth it. All right. Bees and art. Model. It has to have a model number D C G twelve B C bean grinder. Grinder and black lid. And then machine lid. All right. Oh, that's disgusting. I need something to put it in things in that need to be washed. Turn my big duck camera off real quick. I don't know, considering that a lot of these machines were new, I don't think the prices were too bad. Christmas and I just did this this weekend. You had it listed for that much about a month. Huh. Gotta go make beef stew. Yum. You too, Bridget. Have a good evening. All right. Let's see. Hey, we got eight people in the chat. Can y'all please give me a thumbs up? Thank you. So what do y'all want to talk about today? What's going on in the world? Is anybody getting sick of the uh, Catherine story? Prince William's wife? You know, I don't really think it's our business, but. No, the paparazzi makes it their business. Okay, this is a vintage white Westinghouse mini food processor. Um. And I don't think there's a whole lot of pieces to this either, but I'm trying to see how much I paid for it. I paid $4.54. <laughs> so this, that was a good deal, $4.54. And I think I got it at Family Thrift also. That's pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Got some pieces that can be taken apart. Mm. I don't know if I can get the feet out of that one. Let's try pliers. My wife is good at this, but I don't. I don't want to ask her to do anything about with this. Ow, that hurt. Okay, we're stopping. Whew. Just made a big mark on my finger. See? I think I cut myself right there. Ow. Yep, starting to bleed. Okay, that was good. I don't know if this even has a model number on it. I should have known. Oh, and it has an instruction manual. Woohoo. Oh, it does have a model number on the instruction manual. That's great. All right. Ooh, cha ching. Did you hear that? Let's 
sold something. We'll look at that in just a second. Okay, White Westinghouse. I've never heard of White Westinghouse. I've heard of Westinghouse. Uh, mini food processor. Model number WMC200. Well, let's see what all these parts are called. I probably already know some of them. Okay. I like these little uh, food processors because they don't take up a lot of room. All right. So, and I'm hoping this one's not B road because of recall because this is a really old machine, but we'll see. Okay. So, this is the food bowl. And then if it says any other name in the instruction manual, I always put the name that's in the instruction manual. This is probably This is the disc holder. And then since I will be doing this from my bed, probably, or maybe the couch, I won't have these. I make a little picture. <laughs> All right, make a little picture on my paper of what this looks like. Because to me, this isn't a disc holder. This is a disc. So sometimes my drawings are kind of funny. Um, okay, this is a chopping shredding blade, but I want to see what it, they call it. Um, slicing shredding blade. So that's what we're going to call it. And what else have we got? Uh, we are missing a food pusher. Dang it. Food pusher is not in this box. Those sell pretty well. So this is the lid and the chute. Um, dang it. I swore I looked in there and saw it. I wonder if I just threw it on the floor. And then this is the chopping blade, but I'm going to just make sure that's what they call it. I don't even have this one. Hmm, don't even have this one pictured. Okay. Wow, it's a chopping blade. And then the instructions. So we got six parts for $4.74. That's why I, th I think I bought this at the same time I bought that Mueller brand new machine for $27. And I think that's why I did it. So take a picture of all these parts. These look like they've never been used. Um, well, maybe the food pusher. Ah, the food pusher's right there. It is in there. Gotta add that one. I knew I looked in that box. Food pushers are essential because you need one so that all the stuff doesn't run out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pieces. Yay. I wish I could tell you how much I spent on all this, but these were all bought at different stores on different days. And then I was going to ask you, do you think I got my money's worth? But. I have no idea how much I spent. I really don't. I don't get it. They said she would be out recuperating until after Easter. Just leave her alone until then. I know. Um, I mean, why, why do we care? Why do we care so much? Um, you know? I don't know. If, if, if it's something serious, do you, you're just making things worse by hounding her. 
and then and then the fake photos you know now that didn't help you have to admit that didn't help all right i hardly ever buy these and i'm not sure why i bought this one because i i don't i don't like them so i don't know why i bought it there's got to be a reason well for one thing it says new on it now that doesn't mean it's new um I mean, does it look new? Yeah, it looks like it's never been used, but it's been sitting around and gotten dust. So this is an Icy Treats by Hamilton Beach. Um, I don't normally get these. For one, they're big. They're, they're, they take up a lot of space. They're not super fast sellers. But I'm pretty sure I looked this up on eBay. And probably there weren't very many listed. Plus, summer's coming up. People might want to make, you know, icy treats, slushes, snow cones, whatever. So that's why I bought it. Um, but normally, and I would ask, I would recommend that you do not buy the Cuisinart um, ice cream makers. They are saturated completely, unless you want to sell them for nothing. Um, I had a funny story about that. I, I had uh, I had bought those in the past, and when you know five, four or five years ago, I had three of them. Can't remember the model number, but you probably you guys probably see this machine all the time when you go. I do. It's an ice cream maker by Cuisinart. So I had like three of them, okay. And that was when I was doing variation listings when I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I did quantity listings. I didn't know what the heck I was doing. And the first thing that sells on that machine is the paddle that stirs the ice cream, you know. And so I didn't realize it, but I sold all the paddles, but my number got reset. And so it thought I had an extra paddle and I sold one and I didn't have a paddle to send the person. And then I remembered my parents the weekend before had given me an ice cream maker and they said you can have this and do whatever you want with it part it out or whatever and i went in my trunk and when you know it it was the same machine and it had a paddle in there and i that's what i and i it saved me now that's like a one in a million thing that would happen um i was so lucky guys I did not want to cancel that sale. And the only other time I got screwed on appliance parts was I sold an extra bean grinder that I didn't have because of variation in quantities, you know. And so what I did was I bought the guy a bean grinder on eBay and had it shipped to him. And um, and then, I, but I told him, I said, I'm buying this for you. I'm shipping it to you, you know because I messed up and I paid a little bit more for it, but it was worth it. And there is a very, very sharp blade in there. I'm trying to figure out how much I bought pay. Okay. I paid $6.56 for this machine and I'm only going to get four pieces, which, which that's fine. Four pieces is good, but I guarantee this little paddle thing will sell first. Always does. Always. What I've been surprised by what's been selling this time around are baby bottle sterilizer parts uh, and baby food maker parts like baby baby cook and baby Brezza. I didn't sell those well before and now they're always selling so I'm really glad um, I don't know if it's because people aren't breastfeeding as much anymore like I, I don't know but I used to have so much trouble selling those and this thing is you know it, this was new but now it doesn't look new because it's got tape residue everywhere oh and I see another part that will come off too I forgot about this part I think the tape is just there's not really anything to even cut. Mm. All right. Oh, let me 
mean, I understand they need to tape it, but this is just a little overboard. I don't take the tape residue off anymore because I've never found anything that does it well and quickly and doesn't cloud the plastic. So I have a blurb in my listing that says may have tape residue. I run more lids. All right, this is the paddle for this thing. It's a little different, but I don't know if you call it a paddle or what. All right, supposedly if you lift this, it will come out. Lift to remove. I don't want to bust it, guys. I wonder if it's locked in there. It's got arrows. It says lift. There we go. Okay, this has this has the blade. This whole thing. So I don't know what you call these pieces. I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up. Should have taken a picture of the machine. Usually when it's on my table, I take a picture of the whole machine. But it's an ice shaper. It has a model number. Oh, I I think I've had this before. That number sounds very familiar. No, it's Hamilton Beach. I have I don't know. Let's see. Anybody want to come on with me and help me keep me company and read the chat? 6805. Oh, if you haven't seen Maggie's last video, be sure you go over and watch her video. Oh, you're back. Santa, I thought you left. I just recently sold a Magic Bullet Baby Bullet Silicone Easy Pop Batch Tray with Lid Freezer Storage New shipped to Puerto Rico. That is a mouthful, Mary. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I'm impressed. She must have copied and pasted that, huh? I wish I could get the feet out of this, but uh, oh yeah, one came out. Oh wow, these are just little discs. Hmm. Okay. Well I'll tell you what, when they pop out they fly. Two. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. I'm going to end up busting my fingernails doing this. I know. It's okay. I need to go get my nails done for Easter. And um, And I'm, I bought an outfit for Easter that I'm hoping works out. I haven't, we'll see that tomorrow. How's that? I'll show you guys what I bought to wear to Easter. Um, if we have time, I'll try it on. And then uh, I do need to get something out of my inventory to go with it. But speaking of which, where is the Nissa? This is not here today. Boy, this is not easy. All right, one more. Hey. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this last one out. So you have to do this with clothes. All right, I got them. One, two, three, four, five, six feet. Mm. I don't know. I may, I may uh, sell those in packs of three, make a little bit more money. I don't know. 
I don't take up any room. didn't look and see what I got for uh, my cha-ching, did we? Let's see if I sold something or what that was. How's everyone's sales? Today mine are only at 107, which is not terrific. And I've had one return. She said that there was something a thread or something. Okay, I sold a Wendy's hamburgers t-shirt just now for $20.01. And I need to take it off of Posh real quick. Posh has been pretty good lately, though. And I've had that Wendy's shirt listed since July of 2023. What's selling for you guys right now? I just sold a Leoma Love Grove today, um, Maggie. I have one reseller box left. If anybody needs plus size inventory, uh, claim it now because I have someone else who's interested. I also sold a maternity top by Motherhood for $17.84, a pair of Riders Lee pants for $22.49, and then the Leoma Love Grove sold for $28.73, and it was listed this month, so it, did, it didn't stick around very long. All right, so let's see. I can find this manual. Hamilton Beach. Six eight zero five zero. I really feel like I've got a virus. Um, All right, this is the this is the website that I like. It's called manuals.lib because they don't I don't get viruses from this website. So manuals.lib is my favorite. And we're gonna go to parts and features and we're gonna look. Okay, so this is the ice shaving chamber right here. That's the part that has the blade ice shaving chamber and then I want to know what this thing right here is front housing with shaving blade front shaft and select your knob hmm housing shaving blade And shaft and knob. All those are in one. And then the mixing paddle, I have that. And then I have the bowl. And the lid. The bowl is clear and the lid is clear. White, white, white. All right. Take a picture of all of that. 
opens up on my phone. Uh, somebody's trying to get a hold of me for an interview for my podcast. We were supposed to have a Zoom meeting today, and she canceled on me. So... Where the feet went. They're probably in that tub. And again, I may sell the lid with this. I just, I gotta see how people have it listed. <sighs> I love Liam Love Grub and I never find her. You never do? Uh, look at my store. You probably have some in your size. Uh, my favorite one so far has been the sea turtle. That one sold really, really well. Um, really fast. It's really pretty. And then I got another sea turtle of hers that's just sitting. Because it's not as nice. I don't think it's nice. Okay, I got a couple more machines here. No telling where I got this. Oh, I got this at a Goodwill. Now, I hardly ever get these either, but look at that thing. Isn't that weird? The heck is that? All right. No receipt. But it's got lots of pieces, so I don't know what this thing is. It obviously holds over the side, holds water. Um, usually I put tube, tubey thing, or I don't know. I, I'll look that up. Got a mesh filter. Doesn't look like it's ever been used. And the coffee filter itself looks like it's been used, though. Got this for $6.99, this machine. So Mr. Coffee, uh, ice coffee machine. So... One, two, three. I don't know what I don't know what that is. There's this lid here that I was hoping I could pop off. Yep. It comes off. Oh, but then those things don't come off. Crud. Hmm. Yeah, I just broke it. Crap. Did I break it or did it just? No, I didn't break it. I think so. No, I just popped it off. I can take the lid. The lid is good. Mm -hmm. No, it just came off. It's fine. So I got the lid too. So. Anytime, I mean, if you're going to just throw the base away, you might as well try to rip it off and see if it'll come off, you know. You would think this thing would come off, but it doesn't. I don't know, for some reason, I don't think I've ever had this machine, but it sure does look familiar. Mr. Coffee. BVMC. ICMB. Oh, no. I don't have that one. All right. Ooh, there's feet on this one. You ever see anybody get excited about pads on the bottom of machines? Mm. Every once in a while I sell one. I 
I just don't like throwing things away that I can sell. But. Got four off of that one. Right. Sorry, Beth, I got to go get busy got busy all of a sudden well that's good they should not bored bye everyone have a good day bye rita good to see you call me sometime all right I always put the color because it's an extra word in your title Okay, so we got the lid, ice coffee. I don't know, something's weird about this lid, though. Yeah. All right. We got the filter basket. That's going to have to go in the dishwasher. Wow. I don't know. Water receptacle? I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know. All right. Take a picture of all of those. The only one that really needs to be washed is this one. All right. We're getting there. All right. I wanted to show you all this dash egg cooker because it's, I don't think I've got this color. I've got another blue one. But not this color blue. This is like a really, like a, almost like a baby blue or I can't think of the word. Teal maybe? This is a different blue than what I've got. And um, it's it's got everything in it. And I, got, I paid $5 for this. Normally these are seven to eight bucks. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces on this. And I'm not going to take this one apart because you you guys seen this ad nauseum, but isn't that pretty? So I'm just going to add this to my Dash Egg Cookers. Um, I love my Dash Egg Cooker. I use it every single week. Like two or three times a week, I make boiled eggs for the week. And um, it's awesome. I got one more to show you guys, and then I'm going to go start maybe taking some pictures. Let's see what time is it. Oh, yeah, I got time to take pictures. Awesome. Okay. Oh, yeah, here's a receipt. Uh, one, one, two, three, three machines for seventeen twenty nine. So that goodwill. Don't know which machines they were. This was three ninety nine. It's a Mister Coffee, like a maybe a four cup maybe. I don't know how many cups are in here. It doesn't say. But I'll look it up and see. Okay, so this is a model DR4. Never had that model. I've had a TF5 that's kind of like this. And surprisingly, they sell. I mean, single people like them because they don't make a lot of coffee. So I don't think I'm going to have to get. I don't think I'm going to have to wash that crap. When I say I don't wash it, that means it doesn't go in the dishwasher. Now I'll rinse it out, or I'll put Windex on it, and make it real shiny and no, no water spots. But you know, I do sort of wash it. You know, now I could take this lid off. Whoops. 
don't know if y'all heard that, but that just went all the way across the room. I could probably take this lid off. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's a way, but part of that just went flying across the room. All right, so it doesn't have a mesh filter, which is why I only paid $4 for it. But it's got a cute little carafe. So I'll probably list this carafe at $27.99, hoping to get 20 for it. But I will do clumps too. So it's really cute. It's really cute. Oh, it's a three cup. No, it's a four cup. It says four cup on it. My little cute little craft. I like it. And it doesn't take up much space, and that's the best part. I I really need I really want to get my screwdriver. And I don't know where my screwdriver went. Was here. And oh there it is. And try to pop off this lid. I don't know if I can pop it off or not. This is not my forte. When when you have arthritis, it's very difficult to do this kind of stuff. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to rip it, but I just don't want to rip it. I don't know. Supposedly, this little thingy comes out too, but I've never been able to get one out. But I've seen people selling these little, I don't know what you call these black things. I've seen people selling them so they obviously can get them out. I just don't know how to do it without breaking it. I don't know. So I leave, I leave pieces. I only got like two things. Bummer. That's okay. For $3.99. It's okay. <sighs> Mr. Coffee. DR4. Four cup. Carafe. basket. I wonder if I can get the feet out of this one. Mm. Oh, without breaking a nail. I know there's a way to get that lid off there. I probably need a thicker screwdriver. Mm. Lord help me. <laughs> I don't pay much though. So there we have it. I think that's it. Oh, I got one more. Shoot. You just thought you were rid of me. Oh, this is. And it obviously leaked some coffee all over my receipt. 
That's going to be fun to try to scan. $18.64, uh, $0.67, no, $20 with the tax. says I bought three machines. For fifty-four, seven fifty-seven, six fifty-six. This was the seven fifty-seven. This is a Krups. Mm. It leaked everywhere because I had it laid down because I don't want this carafe to fall, and that's why. Oh God, this is bad. This is really bad. Ugh. Don't have this with clothes, right? I have been photographing shoes. Oh, good. I'm glad I'm not. I mean, I'm probably kind of boring, but I'm just on because I just want to talk, right? I just want to see my friends. So, boy, this is really bad. I wonder where the water's coming from. Like, if I turn this upside down. Yeah, if I turn this upside down. Dang it. Oh, well. I've got to. I've got to. Uh, I've got to get the model number. I used to do shoes, Crystal. I don't do shoes anymore. I wasn't good at finding shoes. I'm not a good judge of, of shoes. Although I did find cleaning shoes to be very therapeutic. I really liked the cleaning process. I know that sounds kind of weird, but am I going to turn this in? in if, if coffee goes all over my floor, I'm going to be very pissed off. Alright. Trying to find the model number. Mm. There's a type. There's said it had thermo brew technology. Hmm. Like, I'll try on the feet for, like, a couple of tries, and if it's not easy, I just leave it. It's not worth breaking a nail over. Anyway, I don't think I've had this one before. And Krups is a pretty good seller. Shoot, I'm going to have to put this coffee in my trash can. Now my office is going to smell like coffee. I don't know if I have another sheet. Let me see if I have an extra sheet. But I didn't remember this one. Okay, Krups. Whew, I got coffee all over my pants. Type EC321 uh, 12 cup. Carafe and lid. Yeah. And black filter basket. And mesh filter basket. I don't know if this uh, mesh one can be saved. I guess if it doesn't have cracks on it, it'll be okay. Ugh. That is major disgusting. I don't know if it says crops on it either.
I may just sell this as a generic uh, carafe. I don't know them a lot, but Dollar Day has a ton. Do you sell um, Steve Madden? Is it Steve Madden? I, I, I think I used to get those shoes a lot, and I couldn't sell them for anything. And then uh, Courtney, I think it was Courtney, um, Uncommon Tags sold a pair for... I was like, how did she get that money for those pairs? You know, I don't, Beth, I have to run. I will talk to you soon. Okay, Maggie, I'll be working tomorrow if you're, if you're working. Man is a, now a Walmart brand. Yeah, I couldn't sell them for anything. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to go try to take some pictures. And um, I've still got the rest of the day. It's so weird having the day off. Like, I, I love it, but I'm having trouble getting used to it. So... I don't know, but I will see you sometime tomorrow with a haul of clothing. The clothing is going to be on sale for $10 each ship. So if you're interested in buying some clothing or just seeing pretty clothes, stop by. Um, look for those notifications I post on Facebook and Instagram and ring that bell. And I will see you tomorrow sometime, hopefully. Until then, paddle on. We're all in this business boat together. Bye. Wow.